SFC fans react. I'm Sean Middleton, and today, after the 2 1 defeat last Saturday against Birmingham City, and then the breaking news on Monday afternoon, Michael Bear was dismissed as the Sunderland uh, head coach after only 63 uh, days in charge and 12 games. The attention turns this afternoon to Swansea City, a side what's been uh, an Achilles heel to Sunderland over the last few years. Um, fortunately, the first half display has been pretty dire, pretty diabolical. Um, something went a goal down with a mistake at, at the back post. And I think Patterson could have done better with the cross. And then 09 made a mistake and then Swansea got the second goal and it could have been a lot worse. But we got into the, into the, after the first half, it was 2-0 to Swansea. Second half has been a lot better. Um, Sunderland got, the, got a goal for Luke 09. It's still playing it. It's 2-1 to Swansea. So hopefully Sunderland can nick uh, an unlikely point. Um, but today I'm going to be getting the fans' reactions of uh, Michael Bale's exit on Monday and then obviously the, the score today. So would you please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Very much appreciate it. Stay safe, enjoy your night and bye for now. Few years on SFC fans react. Um, a disappointing display by Sunderland uh, this afternoon. Very poor in the first half. Very poor first half. Much better second half. Looked like they knew. They were much more attacking, much more knew what their jobs were and... Uh, we could have got more, but they were cheats, weren't they? They liked to waste their time, didn't they? Were shite. Yeah. Um, first of all, obviously, be, uh, I was going to say Ian Bale. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Michael, Michael Bale obviously was uh, dismissed as head coach on Monday. After 63 days in charge, 12 games, um, he was dismissed. What, what was your feelings on that? And Michael Bale I think it sacked? was the right, de right decision. Um, I don't know that anyone that had a good word to say for him, I, you get the feeling that the players weren't, but didn't buy into what he wanted. Yeah. Um, the fans certainly weren't buying into his, yeah. his methodology. His, he, I, I thought he was an arrogant man. No, he was an arrogant man. And he shouldn't have been appointed in the first place. Yeah, so, I, I agree know, with you. I totally and, agree. And, and if Dodds is going to be now, he should have just stuck with Dodds. Well, some, that, that's season. what all of us are looking at now. We're saying, why didn't they give it Dodds to the end of the season? Yeah, yeah, do you know what absolutely, I mean? And yeah. If they haven't got the manager there who they want, do it in the summer and yeah, wait till the summer yeah, and get the yeah. right man. Absolutely. And I thought it was a lovely um, fit in tribute to Tony Mowbray on 60 Minutes. And it was yeah. nice to see Dodds and uh, actually, uh, you know, Speckman, Speckman, whatever his name is. Speckman. Chris and Speckman, yeah. They were all standing, applauding, and that's uh, that's the quality of the man he was. Yeah, I mean, on the game of dear, well, uh, the first half display wasn't uh, very good at all, was it? It wasn't. Uh, the players just didn't seem to know where they were, where they should be playing. There was no direction. It was, it was, it was it wasn't pleasant. Do you think it was because of, obviously uh, Dodds had changed the system? He went for a three-four-three yeah, and yeah. used a four-two-three-one. I think that just totally. You know, the yeah, players uh, weren't used to it. I they were in so. high press, weren't they? Yeah. Boxing us in. Yeah. Really high press from them. And I just think that we just didn't have our heads in the game. Not in the game, but I just don't know. Like, like you said, I don't, they knew what they were supposed to be doing and all that. Obviously, they've come out second half and it was a much better performance. They'd give it all they could. I just think they were stronger. Swansea was stronger just, than just, us just, today. They just had that spring in the step. They yeah, wanted it more yeah, than what they just didn't they? Yeah, yeah. And obviously, they got the first goal. Give them the confidence and they got the second one. The fans started to get on our backs yeah, and yeah. it doesn't help the no, players for me. It but doesn't, you, pay, it doesn't. you pay your money, you're allowed to give your voice uh -huh, your opinion. Uh -huh. so. And I think, you know, you know, we've got to give Dodds a chance because we had a lot of players out injured today. He had a lot of youngsters on the bench yeah. and... Uh, uh, all we can do is move on from today, move forward and... It just looks like the season's going to fizzle out now, doesn't it? It looks yeah. that way, doesn't it? looks like, I mean, 12 games to go. Yeah. I think we might be about five, six points off the, off the top six now. And it yeah. looks like we could be, I'll be looking towards next season. Yeah. It's um, disappointing. My husband always books our um, hotel at Wembley around Christmas time. Yeah. And he booked it and he's cancelled Cancel, it. Yeah, yeah. Because might I just well cancel think, now. Yeah, yeah because yeah. I think we all know it's just going to fizzle in, into nothing this season. But, you know, we could go again. Let's hope you know next year's a, a stronger year. But today, we learned. I think we learned something from the fact that you know we're prepared to give youngsters a go, which is good. Good to see Chris Rigg coming on. You see, I'm giving the youngsters a go. But I'm just going to put out there about this. I think this model, yeah, our average age is 21, 21.9, right? Yeah. For me. You need some experience yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely. can't in the midfield. Dan Neil and Ekwa have run into each other. Yeah. They haven't got any wise. There's no no wise head in that middle. We miss him, Pritchard. I think Pritchard with his um, experience. Corey Evans as well. Experience. Yeah, Corey Evans. Yeah, and and yeah, I, I totally agree. I don't agree a hundred percent with the model. I think, you know, give youngsters a go, give them, bring them forward, coming through the academy. But you, you've got to do it with experience. You need some experience. Whatever desperately. job, whatever job you're doing you in need. life, you need experience. Exactly. Exactly. And people, what, people to guide the youngsters coming through and to show them what to do and set examples. It's going to be a big summer as well. I mean, Clark will probably go for about 25, 30 million. Yeah. I think Ballard is being linked with Everton for 20 yeah. million. Yeah. Dan Neil could be going. Yeah. But with that money, what we'll get, you've got to 
you've got to reinvest that back in the team. As if, 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 we, if, we, if we make 50, 60 million this summer, that's got to be pl ploughed back into the squad to uh, give us a real chance of having a go yeah. next year. Yeah. As you go into the three-year plan now of the five-year plan they set, these board... So exactly, exactly. The fans are starting to get, get, get impatient. And the thing with that, that five-year plan, almost I feel like we're back to stage one. Yeah. We're not three years into it, we're back at stage, yeah. year one because yeah, yeah. we haven't made any progress because, yeah. you know, we've sacked managers, we've got rid of Mowbray. I think Mowbray would have been a good good way to lead us forward and bring a younger one underneath him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just, I just think that they've got stuck the board, they've made decisions that are wrong, yeah. that they haven't backed some of our senior players. I don't want us to go back to the, the time when we were just having journeymen mm -hmm. coming at the end of their career, because mm -hmm. that's not the model either. Yeah. But we need experience, quality experience to bring yeah. these young players through. And that's the model we need to be looking forward for. There's a, I mean, We've getting rid of uh, uh, Pritchard. I mean, there's a weird structure as well, yeah. but I think it's 16,000. They'll knock go above that. Yeah, exactly. And you're not going to attract any. You're not going to attract no. any top players. So. No, 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 exactly. And they do. They just need to have another look at their where they want to be. Look at their their principles because they're not right at the moment. They need to be looking at. Uh, not journeymen, but experienced, quality people that can bring on the youngsters, and that's where they're going wrong at the moment. A lot of people are seeing Christian Speakman out. Um, come, what, and like a lot of people yep. are getting enough of Christian Speakman. What's yep. your things on that? I think I don't know enough about the directors and what their roles are. Yeah. Um, it does seem that he's has a lot of influence in the club. Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't like to say either way. I don't because I don't know enough about what he does and everything else. Yeah. When I, when I listen to him, he seems to speak sense. Yeah. I don't know. I, I can't answer that. If you bring, if you get rid of Speakman, who do you bring in? You know, he knows the club and he seems quite dedicated to the club. And it's going to be big calls in the summer then, do you think? Yeah, yeah? yeah definitely. Right. Thanks for your time, lovely. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for taking your time. Very, very, very good interview with us. Robin Conley is on the SSA Fans React. Uh, you've said that was the worst that was display the, you've ever seen. Possibly the worst ever display ever, the first half. The second half wasn't so bad, it couldn't have gotten any worse. Headless chickens. No. And worse. Well, I've been gone 50 odd years. Well, think, thanks anyway. <laughs> things can only get better. Yeah. Who's our fault? Who's our, who's our fault? SAC fans, we are them with Dave, the regular. Dave, first of all, um, on Monday at Britain News, was that uh, Michael Bell, the head coach, yeah. after 63 days in charge and 12 games, was dismissed. Um, what's your feelings on that, first of all? Well, it's not a surprise, but I don't think he should have been appointed in the first place. It was a, a bad decision. At it least, was. at least they've done something quickly about it. I yeah. suppose that's Didn't that's the only it. that's the only yeah. good thing you can say. But everything's up a height, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, nothing's nothing's yeah. good at the moment. I'm afraid. No, it is. I mean, just moving on from that. I mean, you've just seen it's everything's. I mean, the whole, whole like sort of, you know, feeling of the place. It's yeah. all bad vibes. It's I mean, flat. I mean, loads of fans. Loads of fans have um, have just come on past and seen Speakman out. A lot of them have had enough of Speakman. Yeah. A lot of lads out I know have been coming down to the games for 40 or 50 years, go home and away, and they've had enough of Speakman. I mean, what are your feelings on that? Well, I still say, I think the last time we spoke, Sean, I said something about the fact that Speakman can only do what he's allowed to do, whether that money be money-wise or, you know, with his job um, description, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, one of the big failures has been to sign a striker. Yep, That's absolutely. because they're the biggest and most expensive commodity in football. Again, I'm repeating myself, yep. but that's the reason. So, an old boss of mine used to say something, and she said a fish rots from the head down, and it starts at the top. If he's not getting anything from the top, mm -hmm. then yeah, that's it. So you, are you basically saying the KLD is... Uh, well, whoever's Spik running the football club. Speakman's got his hands tied because he's yeah, not... Yeah, perhaps. He's only, he's only doing, dealing with, with his resources. Well, he's done. I'm not it's saying a, that as such because I don't know, but that's my guess. Yeah, that's a lot of people are seeing that as well. You know, a lot of people are so, uh, with you there, Dave. I mean, it doesn't matter who comes in. If they kind of, if they kind of do anything, it makes any difference, does it? Um, it makes you wonder what my, the Michael Bale situation was all about, though. I yeah. mean, he come in, oh, he, got, he, got, he was given a two and a half year contract, yeah. and I straight away thought, why is he being given a two and a half year contract? Because if you sack him, you're going to have to pay the two and a half year contract. I, I'm not absolutely confident on that one. I think there's been something in that contract. Do you think? I, well, I can't imagine that that's stupid. Honestly, well, honestly, I can't imagine that that's stupid. Yeah. But I don't know. Again, mm. I, that's my supposition. I, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, clearly things aren't right. Mm -hmm. You know, somewhere along the line. And I'll tell you where I think it's wrong. It's wrong because 
<laughs> again, we've been doing this for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. We've got too many kids. I've said this to all the lads around us. I says, you can't get promoted, yeah, with an average squad age of 21.9. You know, it was, I might be 22 or something now, yeah, but 22. Well. So you're 22. Your average age of your squad is 22. There's no wise heads in there to get you through a game. No. In midfield for me, Dave, and I will come to the game today, is... Dan Neil and no. it, where they're just running into each other. No at times. midfield. Nobody's <laughs> bossing that middleman. But not for the first time. People run through ah. all the time, all the time. It's because there's no holding midfield player. That's, um, that's it. That, uh, that's why. If, you, you like know, you forward, don't, don't they? Be, Neil and Nick were like to get forward, don't they? Yeah, you don't. You, you know, you don't have to be any coaching genius to work this out. But going back to the, I mean, the, the, the Michael Bill dismissal. I was a bit the timing of it. I mean, six three days and twelve games. Were you yeah. a, bit, a little bit surprised? I was a little bit surprised. I've got, I've, I've got to admit, when I saw it come up, I just laughed. Aye, I think I'm not really yeah. surprised, and Couple I'm not really, you know, <laughs> if he'd stayed for a year or he got sacked in 60 days, it would, neither would have surprised us. Do you think KLD and Sartori and, and Speakman, whatever, I mean, Sartori and KLD mainly because they're the main, main, well, they're the they're main, main shareholders, yeah? They, they just, uh, look, uh, we made the mistakes in the Newcastle game, where they, yeah. they rolled the red carpet yeah. out. You know, let them give yeah, them well, free Well, that drinks. wasn't Beale's fault. I know, that wasn't Beale's fault, yeah. But the thing is, though, Beale wasn't easily approachable. And even in interviews, you could see things he said. For example, the players have to take responsibility, and so do the staff. He never said, I have to take some respons responsibility as head coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. never wrong. Yeah. And then he made the mistake with Trey, whatever happened there, who knows. You know, but try your try the the didn't look cup. happy at all. No, not understandably. Uh, I'm not really. I mean, and they're a bit shambolic. That's the that's the truth of it. The, the thing is, anybody who's watched academy football, or watches any academy football, it's pass, 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 no tackle. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. some big bloke comes on, gives you a good, uh, smashes you, yeah, and yeah. they don't like it, and they disappear. And this afternoon, for periods. People went missing. Aye, uh, yeah, I agree. And that's well, for what me, happens for me, with kids. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll move on from the Michael Bale. Is anybody who, who you would like in the summer before we move on to the game? Any, anybody? Well, it depends on, on if we're going to say who would I like or uh, who do I think is practical because the top and bottom of it is I don't think they're going to appoint a Cooper or anybody like that top because coach. those those guys are going to say no. I've got I'm no, not doing got no that. seeing the incomings and outgoings. I, I'm not doing that. I'll have this. And that won't happen here. At the moment, we'll still, something needs to change. We'll still, I mean, I said Mark Robbins, uh, the company um, manager, I think he's uh, really good. Uh, but I think he's very good, but can he, he attract him? He's very good, but can he attract and, uh, him? And the bottom line is, you will, know, he, will, he, will he be like, you know, he has, he has no seeing the transfers, that's been an issue, wasn't it, really? Well, it's not just about, as a manager, wanting to have that, it, it's pride yourself. And your pride in yourself says, eh, I need to have a say in this. I mm. want to pick my players, put them on the pitch. Because if I'm going to get the sack or yeah. I'm going to get the blame, I want it to be my fault, not, not someone not else's. Somebody else's. That's, a, that's, a, that's, that, that's to me, spot on, Dave. You know, that, on, that to me is the, is the situation. Um, it's, do you know what's just a bad thing about the... But we get the... stretched at the back, we get broken down in midfield, and we've got nobody up top. So apart from that, that's great. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's, it's awful. <coughs> it's awful, and you can feel the frustration now. And the crowds are now. And of course, they've got to do something soon, because season tickets come out soon. It, yeah, is it April, I think, when they're... No, it's usually... March, 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 usually in the... March in, in, yeah. if you get it by the 15th of April or something like that. And people aren't going to invest if they think it's not worth watching. On to the game, David, I will move, we'll try and move on from the manager, because I know yeah. you want to be aware, but... No, it's um, okay. On to the game today, for me, you said there was a lot of passengers, a lot of people going missing. Yeah. Now, for me, I think... Joby Bellingham, how, how, he, how he managed to stay in that game for as long as what he did, I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. He's, he's, it happens every week though as well. He's not, seems to, he just, yeah. he just he gets, he's on the team sheet no matter what. Aye, and how, how, how's that? Well, again, how do, do we that's, don't know? When, when Joe Bellingham was coming at the, the, the doors down there, Joe Bellingham, his brother, right. Speakman was shaking the hands and putting him in a car. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, sort of like in, in, in a click. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you, you oh, wonder, there's you a wonder. You wonder if, like, you know, Joby's got a place. Well, I know yeah. this. I mean, I don't know, and it's a lot of young boys, as I've said. But if I was on that pitch, I'd be shaking him. I'd be mm. saying, hey. Because there's, there's times you just, people come past him. Ah, no, he's just, just too slow. He he's doesn't got, want to be bothered. He's got no peace about my other Joby, is he? He's, well, he's very slow. I don't really want to slag off one player. Oh, no, there's, no. there's quite a few. Aye. You Aye, know, it's was, not just there was, one. There was. You know, I thought that was rubbish in the first half as well. You, what we're doing is we're giving teams a start. Aye, that's a problem. Giving them goals, yeah. And you, you, give you something know. to build on, and then they sit back and just frustrate us. Michael's just said before there, 
being Sunderland, we might go to Norwich and win. <laughs> you know, no but chance. the bottom line is, can you see any points at them next three games? And then suddenly you are looking over yeah. your shoulder. It's as uh, simple as that. We said that early on there. Um, I was coming out. They went, oh, we need to be careful. I was like, we're not going to get relegated, man. Yeah. We're not, no way. No, I don't think we are either. But, but you could you've just got get to look sucked at it. down to there. And you've got it. You've got it. You kind of get into a position where it's a fight. Yeah. Because they all not had a fight. Yeah. No disrespect to them as mm. people yeah. and as players. Yeah. But they're young boys, and they won't have the fight. They're, they're, They'll be right, they're Robertson. Gonna have, they're the going to have to look at this model in the summer, Dave. They're going to have to be experiencing. Well, they're going to have to, like. I would have, I agree with you, Sean, completely. I yeah. agree totally. Yeah. We need some players in who, somebody in every department, defence, midfield, and attack, mm -hmm. and, and dare I say it, even in goal, mm -hmm. who is commanding and says, this is what we want. So you're not a fan of Patterson? Because I'm not. I think he's a savage. Well, I, think he's, me, but... I think he's gone back a little bit, if I'm mm. honest. But, I mean, how many times... The mistake against Bristol when he passed the, the Dan uh, Neal, who's yeah. had three people on him. Yeah. Right? He's done, he done that against Newcastle, he voted that with well, I was just coming to that. I was going to say, because when he did that against Bristol, yeah. somebody said, I can't remember who it was, one of the, one of the staff manager or whatever, said, they'll learn by their mistakes. Now he did it against Newcastle. Then he did it again today. But see, team, that's a team. Is it all the time? Teams play high press and they're forcing a mistake because now we're trying to play from the back. So just you're going to have to go along yeah. instead of creating, instead of, of um, creating uh, a passage, a trouble. But the other, like, want you trouble. the other problem is somebody also said in the ground when you're going along, there's nobody there to hold it up. Well, that's it. That's the thing. And that's another that's thing. That's the thing because Rousson's only tiny and it, you, you open up and Joby doesn't get he doesn't get amongst it, does no. he? Well, so you're opening it long and you're relying on. Well, you're yeah, wasting your time with him because he's not doing his shift. Yeah. It's as simple as that. He's, again, I'm going back to the one player, and I'm not trying to pick on one player, but uh, we need somebody that can, uh, you know, <laughs> get. To, we need some players in vital areas that can do the job. We need, so this summer's huge, isn't it? We've got to get the huge. right coach. Yeah. We've got to get the right recruitment. The the there's, there's advertising for you. Roast tut over there. Burger van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want a free burger for that. <laughs> the, the next 12 games are huge. Oh, God. I'm you just know? hoping these players realise what it is to be a professional and they don't just fold over, Dave, because yeah. there's, a, there's a big, big issue, a problem that, that could arise if, if, if they again, do that. Again, I've said that in the past, Sean, as well. Young lads, the pressure's on. Yeah. And they went missing. Do you think? Do you think? It's, I think. Did you see it? There were there was a few that went missing and sort of hiding at the way. Oh, I wouldn't say they were necessarily not trying. I'm not saying they're not trying. Yeah. It's just the heads going. No, no hiding, hiding out the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes football. Don't give it to me. I, I don't want to. I don't want to make that mistake. The crowd was getting on the back. Yeah. So sometimes in the field. That's but, that's what it is. And you know, you just didn't want to see that happen. But we'll Dave, see. We're, we're down in the dumps, Dave. Yeah, yeah. But, but I love yeah. I love speaking to you, Dave, all the time. I, I miss. The last game, I missed a few games by being poorly. I've been poorly a lot this season. Like I'm hoping. Didn't right. get any more flu. <laughs> I'm not getting any more flu jabs for next season. Like no, no, no. no, no. no nice. But Dave, it's always a pleasure. What are we doing now? Too, um, we'll just have to keep going to the end of the season and hope something happens. That's all. Yeah. And show, hopefully he's telling them and there. Look, okay. just get your heads up and have it. Have a right go and mm. don't be frightened. Yeah. Do just think, have a go. Dave, do, do, do you think they need to tinker a little bit with this model a little bit? Oh, definitely. They're going to have to. I agree. Yeah, the main mistake would be the, the put hands admitted. Maybe it's the model they're looking at and saying, look, I want to do something well, different here. You say that, Sean, but they, they've sacked them, but nobody's actually come out and said we made a mistake. Aye, ah, well, they're not with that. No. They're not with that. But never mind. Something will die, dear. We shall see. Yeah. Enjoy your Saturday night, dear. Oh, it's always a pleasure, pal, always. Keep your head up, always. Cheers, pal. I'll see you next game. SFC fans, we are with Trudy. Uh, Trudy, um, a disappointing display by Sunderland this afternoon. Yeah. Um, but you want to obviously talk about a, a message? First of all, yeah. So um, no, I know we've lost today, but it, all the same, it's good to be here. I've travelled up seven and a half hours to be here today. Yeah. Um, sadly, my dad passed away there at the start of January. Yeah. Um, massive Sunderland supporter, um, and it was kind of just a come up one last hurrah for him yeah. to come here today with my cousins. Um, um, and the staff were absolutely incredible. They let me scatter some of his ashes on the on pitch, the pitch nice, after yeah. the game which was so nice yeah. um all the staff to be fair have just been absolutely amazing yeah. so it's just nice to come up you know we used to come here on tours all the time with my dad mm -hmm. uh, back in the day so it's just nice to come up yeah one last hurrah for him and to scatter his ashes it's just great and yeah everyone it's just been such a good atmosphere even though we have lost mm -hmm. it's just been a really good atmosphere a really good day out 
So, yeah, we've all really It's nice it. by the club to let you do that as well. I mean, yeah, it's a nice gesture I mean, that, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. For us to scatter. I mean, it was only obviously a little bit, yeah. um, but all the same, massive. Dad was a massive Sunderland supporter his whole life. Yeah, yeah. Um, so for, for for us, it's a little bit of comfort. Yeah, yeah. You know, for him to be, um, you know, he's in the Merchant Navy, so we plan to go to Shields and, and scatter the rest of his ashes there. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that some of them is here yeah. is really special. Uh, he'd, um, he'd, be, he'd, be, he'd be looking down and he'd be over the moon. Oh, like, God, yeah. Really? I don't know what he'd be saying, uh, but I say, yeah, he'd be turning. But, yeah, it, just, it was quite a nice comfort for us to be able to do that today. So for it to travel up all this way and, and for them to let us yeah. to do that yeah, yeah right. re really good on their behalf yeah well, just, just unfortunate we couldn't get the result for your dad but, know. You know. <laughs> but hey ho yeah. <laughs> we'll get I, used to it but I, thank you very time. much no problem no problem thank my dog. you thank take you. care right, take care <laughs> right, cheers SSA fans react and I'm with uh, Dave the Rear Dave no, um, Phil Gim, like, what we should now up to someone. The second half we played good and that, and then um, we had loads of chances in the set. Um, the second half we should have, we should have been leagues to draw and that in the second half. So that's the thing and that. So change it around, didn't he? Aye. But the first half display was pretty Pooh, as poised as bad as as bad as you get, wasn't aye, it? It was sort of rubbish the first half and that. So we could have played better. No, no, that's in the second half and that. I don't think we played better in the second half and the first half. Like but the same we considered the first one, and then the mistake for the second one. I think Patterson good and all right for. He could have done better for the first I one, know, I think. I know, he, had, he, he, switch, he sort of parried straight back out. So switched off in the first half and they played better than the second half. And singing yeah. that and singing that. Jamie Dodds and right on me. Jamie Dodds, red, right on me. No son of mine. Jamie Dodds. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. I was going to be a good win next week. We've got four, four or five hard games coming up next. We've got Norwich away next week, then Leicester. That's going to be it on Southampton. Then some hard games there. Yeah. Very hard games. We come. might say bye bye to the playoffs now. Oh, it's, gone, yes. no. it's gone. Yeah. I think it's just too many good teams, and yeah. I think you, what these. The owners and that here, they're going to have to plan for we next need, season. We need to get KLFD out, definitely in and out. Um, Speakman. Aye, a lot of the fans have been since Speakman, uh, haven't they? Aye, we should have a two, it should have a two way like it did before, you know, like said, out, 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 like aye. they did, like it did all old Germans with the staff and all. We should have a, 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 a nice thing in that uh, yeah, out. And I'd, I think now at the start with the first off display, it was that bad. But uh, when it went 2 0 down, it could have been 3 4 5. No, that does all over in the first half. But then at that point, he did, well, he did change it just before. Uh, he went from a 3, he went for, to 4 at the back, didn't he? Uh, Try and tighten things up. And we, need, we need to keep on winning, that's the main thing, to keep on winning. We're poor game the day, like we were singing that. Uh, the second half was better, like I like the uh, second half. We were a lot better in the uh, second half. My. We were a lot better, and I mean, we just think we're possibly better and there was a bit more uh, a bit desire there, you know what I mean? Uh, Concentration, but nothing in the first half. And I give him blessing for go In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may God bless you all. Amen. Give the real. Thanks, Dave. Ah, we are. Joey on SSC Fans React. Hi. First of all, um, we're going to come to the Michael Bale sacking on Monday. What's your thoughts on that? Um, best, best um, thing ever. Best decision? I uh, didn't need him. Didn't need him? Didn't, didn't want him? Nah. Didn't like him? Nah, nah no, he couldn't do one thing. No? Nah. So it was a right call, yeah? Uh, he was only in charge for 12 games. Uh, I 63 days. Uh, I will. One of the shortest reigns. I think he could be the uh, shortest reign ever I as know. a Southern uh, uh, boss. Yeah. But you're not, you're not, you're not glad, uh, you're glad that he's went. Uh, yeah. I really anyway, onto the game. Uh, great. You think uh, it was great? Uh, first off display? Nah. It's terrible the first off, uh, isn't it? It wasn't fair, though, because um, he had. Like, it was kind of bad because, like, we were kept on taking them down and the referee was insane. Aye. Uh, well, I, I, I mean, they changed the system for, to a three at the back. I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, I think I could have uh, sort of yeah. issued the problems by... Uh -huh. They used to have four at the back, they went to three, and they seemed disorientated, didn't they? But yeah. the two goals, I think, could have been prevented as well. Uh, no. Yeah? Uh, the two but, goals... The first goal was, like, wasn't that good because they kept on shooting, wasn't they? Yeah, it was two mistakes, I think. I know. But the second one was it was only nine mistake, uh, and they went up and scored uh, in there. Uh, but it's we've scored in the second half. Luke nine scored a header, and uh, it's still two one, I believe. But you know, I think it's just finished there. Got it. It just finishes it. Uh, so it's been it's finished two one. Yeah. So yeah. Ah oh, well. Any any pos any positive positive out the game? Um, good. Like um, Luke one nine played great. I can say he didn't. Look when I play great. Aye. Yeah. I just didn't like um, that new player we've gotten. I didn't know if he was. Oh, Callum, Callum Styles. Uh -huh. Did you not think he was any good? No. Nah. He made his debut, didn't he? Uh -huh. But I would like Coach, he's alright. You think uh, uh -huh. Mike Dodds, you like uh -huh. him? Yeah. 
Aye. And I think this season now it's a case of uh, just seeing it out and yeah. trying to get the right man in the summer, isn't it? Uh, who's your best performer today? All nine. All nine. Cheers your time, Paul. Take care, mate. Nice. SFC fans react, Sunderland 1, Swansea 2, and I'm with... Adam, Matthew, Isla. Uh, where do you start with that first off display? I was pretty um, disappointed by Sunderland, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was. And um, Rob was shocking too. He couldn't have even won on the midfield, not on the wing. Mm. Uh, yeah. Um, I would, um, I would, I would say the same. Same. Um, Bark with a belly run. Mm -hmm. It seemed like with just the change of system and then this was, wasn't working, was it? It went with three at the back, and I think it should have been changed earlier than what it was. It was considered two goals. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But obviously on Monday, I am um, breaking news that was something was that uh, Michael Bale had been um, sacked as the head coach after 63 days in charge and 12 games. Is that the right call, Michael Bale yeah. being sacked? Yeah. Yeah. Why is that the right call? Uh, because we never wanted him. Uh, he we he came without we like the fans didn't want him, but like the bought him in and he like hasn't changed anything mm -hmm. with the team. Like he managed Rangers, but that's not the same as the championship. Yeah. What's your feelings on Michael Bale? Uh, I thought he was an uh, awful manager, um, but yeah, I just couldn't win any games. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Michael Bale? I think he wasn't that good because no one really liked him, not even the players. So I think it was, I think it was really good that he was sacked. Yeah, was, I mean, should he have been appointed in the first place? Then 63 days in charge, it wasn't really, you know, no, I should have been appointed. Uh -huh. who, would, who would you like to see in the summer? And sure, anybody, any, any names you think for the summer for the no. head coach? No. Who was your favourite player today, if, if any? Oh nine. Oh nine. Oh nine. I think today was. Um, I think Daniel. Daniel. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think uh, looking at it now, I think it looks like it's just going to be a mid-table sort of finish now. Yeah. That's the way the season seems to be going to pan out. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Yeah, but we're soon to we will be next season, won't we? Yeah. Hey, cheers, see you time. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. SFC fans react, and I'm with uh, Swansea City fans. Are you happy with the 2-1 the victory? Oh, yeah, I'm buzzing. Um, what, from the start to finish, I think that uh, the first half, definitely we were the better side. It could have went in even more goals than we were ahead. It could have been three or four at the half-time mark, but um, definitely the second half, I think that Sunderland were the better side. I think maybe I gave it two halves, and maybe I'm unlucky for Sunderland not to get a point, but... We've got to take the game as it comes and we've got to take the three points because that's a really good result away from home. Uh, and to come all this way, it's a brilliant result I can. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the first half years were really good, but we were absolutely uh, shambolic. We were terrible. Terrible. Oh, it was a real... I've been to Sunderland games before and it was a real disappointing Sunderland performance, but uh, I, it was a case of Sunderland weren't good enough and Swansea were too good. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that uh, Ronald... That's his best game for, for Swansea so far and definitely more to come. And you can see what Luke Williams is trying to do from that game of football. Uh, I think it's much better, a big improvement in uh, Michael Duff's time. And uh, yeah, I think that Sunderland definitely weren't good enough. But uh, I think used to play well. <coughs> He's wanting it more. There was a lot of desire from your, your team. It was always going to be a lot harder for Sunderland if, if Swansea were playing the way they were. So... Uh, yeah, definitely, it was never going to be an easy game for you when we were, when we were playing to the standards that we were, but uh, you, you needed to be a bit better in the game to get anything from it. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, like you say, we're creating our own mistakes and not, I mean, we played three at the back and we usually play four, it just sort of, I think it disrupted the team a little bit, but what do you think of the game, pal? I thought the game, I thought we played all right. I thought the first half we were unbelievable and realistically, I, I might, be wrong, but I think we should have scored more than what oh, we did. Yeah, in the first half, it should have been. Yeah, it should have been at least three or four. Your like. keeper made an unbelievable save to stop our winger from making a free, and then second half, I thought we crumbled. And realistically, I think he should have. <coughs> I think he should have came back. And in the end, I think we were really lucky to get mm -hmm. two and win, especially with uh, your keeper hitting the post at the last kick yeah, of the yeah. game. Yeah. Oh. That's yeah. a, a, that is another thing. I don't know if it was. A, I, I, I thought it was. A, I thought it was a save from Rushworth at the end of the game when Anthony Patterson uh, mm -hmm. uh, managed to get that shot and goal. But mm -hmm. I, I might have hit the post. It might have been a save. I thought it was a save, but I might be wrong. But Anthony Patterson definitely unlucky not to get an equaliser for Sunderland in the closing minutes. But uh, 
I don't know, maybe maybe it's a bit unlucky, maybe it's a bit of hope that you could have got a point from the game, but it was a bit unlucky not to get anything from the game. Mm -hmm. uh, if it was a save, you've got to give credit to, to Carl Rushworth because if, if you can make that save, that's, that's massive, match winning uh, as it showed. But if it hit the post, it's really just one of the unlucky moments. But Sunderland really needed in that first half to up their game. Uh, I think that's, that is what let them down because in the second half, the way they played, the way that Swansea played, Swansea just completely fell apart. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, the way Sunderland played, I think it was definitely a game of two halves and it definitely deserved to be a, a draw. But uh, yeah, Sunderland definitely lucky uh, to not get a equaliser in the second half. Yeah, I think we're pushing at the end, but I missed the, I missed the last 10 minutes. Obviously. I set the, set the equipment up, but did we, did, we have, did we see it was a close chance at the end for Sunderland? Oh, oh it was, it was massive. Uh, Anthony Patterson, I think it was a corner. Patterson came up and uh, he got a shot on goal, uh, and I, I, it looked like to me like it was a save from Rushworth. But I would need to see it back. But it was definitely really, really close from going on. It was um, you had a corner and then back post, and then your keeper has done a diving header, and I it's hit the post, and it's like inside of the post, so it's hit the post, hit the keeper, gone out, and we've lumped it up, and then you tried to put it back in, and then. He went out of play and then the ref broke full time, some... but it was just mad. It was re so much relief at full time. <laughs> but a, a huge point, a huge three points for Swansea. I mean, a long, long, long journey back uh, oh, home, was it? It's be a long journey. Yeah, well, obviously I'm from Scotland, so yeah, I'm, I'm, course, three, I'm three hours up the road, but yeah. he's he's seven, I'm, seven or so yeah, hours I'm, I'm back down the road. Yeah. But uh, uh, it definitely worth the travel coming down to, to, to get the win. Um, and that's all I can really ask for. Uh, it's been a good weekend as well. Uh, one more day to go, um, so just got to make the most of it. And uh, a Swansea three points is definitely just rounding it off. It's a perfect weekend for us. So yeah, we'll we'll be really really happy with that. And uh, yeah, I can imagine that Swansea fans all the way down and and Swansea, the ones that couldn't make the travel up today, they'll be happy with that. And uh, yeah, we'll be really really buzzing. You happy with the happy with the three points? Yeah, I mean our form recently has been terrible, and we've been getting dragged into the relegation scrap which we shouldn't be in because our team on paper is like top 10 in the league we have Bettino who is probably one of the best youngsters but I'm probably wrong with that but, then, um, <laughs> but our team under Duff we just didn't know what we was doing but now with Luke Williams where you could see that it was going to take time, but I feel like today, hopefully, that's like the start. You feel, he's, he, you feel he's the right man to take this forward? Yeah, well, that's, one of, that's one of the things. You look at uh, Luke Williams since he's came in. Uh, I think about it last week, and it was uh, Ipswich at home. Mm -hmm. We probably deserve something from that game. It was a bit yeah. like yourselves today. Probably a game of two halves. Uh, Swansea did probably deserved a point from the game. Uh, and in the week before that, Holloway, we got a 1 0 winning. You know, the squad that, that Hall have been building this season where they've built a really, really strong squad and they've been really, really pushing to secure playoffs themselves. So that itself, away from home at Hull, was a really, really big three points and probably unlucky not to get anything from the game at Coventry and then to come here to Sunderland, which is never, never easy. Uh, uh, to get the three points here as well is something really, really massive. And, uh, definitely a big improvement since uh, Luke Williams has came in and uh, just got to keep the momentum coming and uh, survive relegation as soon as possible. I don't think we will go down, but uh, yeah, much bigger, much bigger improvement since uh, Luke Williams came in since Michael Duff. Who's your man? Who's your quickly lads? Who's your man? The match this afternoon for Swansea. Oh, it's got to be Ronald. Ronald. Uh, I think it has to be Ronald. The celebration topped it all off for the Ronaldo soon. All right, cheers for your time, man. Have a safe journey back to Scotland and Thank safe you. journey back to Swansea, Thank all right? You. Thank Thanks you. so much, Joey. Take care, lads. Yeah, is back on SESA fans reacting. He's got a lot to see you. See you, first of all, um, I want to talk to you about Michael Bill's uh, departure on Monday. Uh, Monday afternoon, after 63 days in charge and 12 games, Michael Bill was dismissed. Was that the right call, first of all? Yeah. From what happened on like, Saturday, I seem to think there was a bit of disrespect between him and the players. Mm hmm. Yeah, like, I mean, who would actually, in the right fr idea, when uh, Hume got subbed off, he would snub him. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, it's like uh, Beal just snubbed uh, Hume. Do you, think, do you think he definitely didn't see him? Do you think he, he was just being ig ignorant and he sort of... I think you know, he's been he did see him, he was just being an, arse, being an arse, basically. Yeah? He's been an arsehole. Um, what do you think, what was his downfall, Michael Bales? I mean... No, that no Southern fan wanted him before he even came. Was he up against him before he even came? I just don't think he even had the dressing room in the first place. Outside noise. Outside noise. Michael just made the point there, and I said this earlier on to a few lads. Do you think 
the fans were against him from the start and soon as he come in, went that straight away, but he sort of had a go at the fans yeah. and that's going to make it even worse, isn't it? You're going to make a lot of enemies if you're going to do that against the fans. Yeah, yeah. If you I mean, take on the fans, you're only going to, you're only going to lose if you take on the fans. So you didn't you didn't want them in the, in the first place? Yeah, I don't think anybody did really. Um, who would you like to see in the summer? Funny, the funny thing is, yes, even though they do seem obvious when you talk about them, but one of the ones that I would want is Steve Cooper. He's out of a job. Good show. The thing is, good show. Would he want to be a head coach? Will he, will he want to work with this, these these guys? I mean, I mean, I've kept saying this a few times. The, the head coach has no saying in the place incomings, outgoings. Will we have to have a look at that in the summer and then look at it and see if we're going to have to go for a manager's approach and then what will happen with Speakman then? He'll probably have to resign. So I'm saying, that, I mean, he's done some good things off Christian Speakman, but I mean, the a big, lot of Southern fans big, want him out. At the end of the day, the biggest problem is not actually with Speakman itself, it's with KLD. KLD. You said it's the owner, Penny Pension. You mm -hmm. think he's not giving them the funds? Yeah. Yeah? It's I still think it's KLD that's probably the biggest problem at the club. He's he's a penny pincher. I still think he's a uh, he's a penny pincher, and I just think I think you know when you saw like that uh, uh, Talksport interview a couple of days ago, Simon Jordan actually called KLD like a twelve-year-old. <laughs> yeah, yes. But the only thing is, Simon Jordan was a bit of a uh, arsehole for calling the fans deluded. Well, to be fair. Because Sam fan... Jordan, Sam and Jordan, even though I like him, he calls everybody, isn't he? He does. He's, he's, sort of, he's opinionated about every club, so I, I, I wouldn't take any notice of him, to be fair. He likes to just, he likes to have a moan. He does. I didn't think as well. I like the way he stands up for people, but at the same time, you know, he's, he calls us deluded just because we want to be allowed. But the thing is, we deserve better. We, we, do, we do. We didn't want him in the, in, the, in the first place, and we didn't appoint Bailey. We didn't. We didn't want him in. The, you know, and we didn't appoint him. So that that falls down with the owners of the club. Yeah, yeah. Because as, as Michael's actually said it before, K, uh, Speakman and Harvey have bailed them out at many, oh, I with, many with, times. Yep, yep, bailed them out. Yeah. They have. They definitely have, said you. But I mean, but you've still got to give K, uh, Speakman some criticism for appointing the wrong head coach. Well, if it was his choice, was it not Sartori's and KLD's? Did Speakman ever, ever seen that? We don't, we'll never know. I think it have been the three of them. But yeah. whatever's happened, they've looked at it and went, look, at it, it's the wrong choice. And between the two of them, so Tommy and Kildee, they've had to pay the, they've had to pay the compensation yeah. to uh, Michael Vale, the well, two and a half year No one knows if he actually got sacked or he walked. Well, uh, well, according to the reliable journalist, I think it was he was dismissed. So he was he was sacked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was sacked. So anyway, so you're moving on from that. Um, you said Steve Cooper as the a coach. Good shout. A few people said that. Um, the game this afternoon, the first half, one supporter said it was probably the worst. Uh, first off, displays ever seen in a sun shirt. And it was a fifty odd. It years. was a fucking shite. It's like, I say, I say the thing, have you noticed in the last couple of matches we've given away some some soft so goals. many silly soft goals? Soft goals. Yeah. Have you noticed like some of them goals they've actually blamed Patterson for? All right, well, I mean, for me, the, the, the was it the was it the, the second one? I think the first no, was the first, first goal. Cross come in and he headed it. I don't know if Patterson could have done better or not, I'm not sure. Do you think he could have or do you think he was just... I do notice that uh, 9 was shouting at him a bit. Because he parried it out, he parried it back out, but he parried it straight out of their plate who put it in the bottom corner, didn't yeah. he? The second goal was 9 made the mistake in the middle mm. and the, the cap just basically took the ball down the left and then the, the, the score from that counter-attack was a mistake. You stop the cross, you stop the goal. You stop the, you stop the cross, you stop the first goal, you stop the mistake, you stop the second goal. And then, it's like the thing is, in the second half, it was just like Swansea were just clearly time wasting all the match. It's like the only thing is that referee was a bit of a, a, an arsehole today. Yeah, well, I was thinking to get them CJ. Keeps... But do you think um, so, um, you think Swansea seemed like more up for the game than us? They yeah. seemed that that's bigger than a step, didn't they? The yeah. desire to win the football match. Yeah. Where we just seemed like they had more urgency about them. No, there's no urgency about us, was there? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? They but... they they just have complete control of the match. But you're looking at, I mean, 2 0 down, you, you were taking it because they could have scored three or four, couldn't they? Maybe he's yeah. even more. So at half time, I think Bale changed it a little bit before half time. Maybe you mean Dodds? He went back, he went back to four. Huh? You mean Dodds? Uh, Dodds, sorry, uh, Bale. <laughs> Dodds changed it. To, yeah. He went to the first, it was three, four, three, went back to four at the back, didn't he? So, I just hope we don't play three at the back again. We conceded two from that yeah. and playing three at the back. Yeah. There's more width in the defence if you're playing like four at the back. Well, there is because you've got you've got a left back, a right back. Where when you play three, you're relying on your wing backs to get back, aren't you? So it's a little bit risky in a sense. 
keep the uh, keep your back four formation all the time because that's tried and tested. Mm -hmm. Second half was a lot better, CG. Any positives for you? Second half. I'm just a little glad we, that we uh, didn't uh, concede further. If you can sum the game up in one word, shite. Sum Michael Bale's um, reign as sullen coach in one word. Uh, I just think that uh, one word. The I just think the season it's fizzled out. It's fizzled out. I mean, just plan for next season now. Yeah, just plan for next season. They need to tinker with this uh, model or thing, don't they? They need to make some major modifications to it. Bring yeah. in some more experience. Put the average age up to about 24, 25. Yeah. Cheers for your time, CG. Always a pleasure, Have a good night, Ari. Take care, partner. <laughs>